Earlier this week, the Department of Justice uh, indicted uh, a member of the Venezuelan National Assembly, a gentleman named Adel Al-Zabayar, who is associated with the Maduro regime. The 50-page indictment is another step taken by the U.S. administration against the Maduro regime's continuing uh, and growing list of nefarious activities linked to narco-terrorism and sanction evasion. Adela Zabayar, in particular, uh, was linked to the connection between Iran, Hezbollah, and Venezuela on the Venezuelan side, uh, providing material support to Hezbollah and the indictment promises to further reveal the connections and the intersections between Iran, its proxy Hezbollah, and the Maduro regime. This is not the only story in the news uh, about Iran and Venezuela. Uh, in uh, recent uh, uh, weeks, uh, really in the past two months, uh, Iran has stepped up to try and rescue uh, its uh, Latin American ally from a self-inflicted uh, humanitarian crisis that stems from years of embezzlement, malpractice, uh, and mismanagement of Venezuela's vast uh, energy resources. Despite being the country with the largest proven oil reserves on the planet, Venezuela today, because of all of these um, years of uh, of corruption and mismanagement of its uh, oil industry is incapable of producing enough uh, gasoline to meet the needs of uh, its uh, of its population. And the crisis has gotten to such a point that uh, the Maduro regime turned to Iran to supply uh, both equipment and technical assistance in order to try and jumpstart a very large refinery complex uh, in the western, on the western side of the Venezuelan coast, uh, uh, in a small peninsula um, called Paraguana, which the refinery bears the name of. Now, Iran delivered on this aid by establishing a an airlift that lasted a little over two weeks, during which Iranian uh, aircraft flown by. Uh, it's a U.S. sanctioned uh, airline, Mahan Air, um, basically brought in uh, with direct flights once or twice a day uh, enough equipment and also technicians to help the Venezuelans uh, jumpstart their refinery. Now, Iran is not doing this for free. Venezuela's uh, dictator is paying uh, up at the tune of gold bars. Uh, it taken out of uh, Venezuela's central bank uh, uh, and its dwindling uh, gold reserves in order to uh, meet the, the debt created by the Iranian airlift and Iranian technical assistance. Iran, in turn, is buying this supplies from China and, of course, the planes involved in carrying the merchandise from China to Iran and then on to Venezuela were likely also the ones that initially brought the COVID-19 virus to uh, to Iran from China back in January. So this is a probably a recipe for disaster, and it's not over because while Iran has now delivered the aid to Venezuela to jumpstart the refinery, it will take some weeks for the refinery to actually return to production capacity. And so while that happens, Maduro has not been able to fully address the crisis. So the Iranians have stepped in again and in recent weeks have dispatched initially at least five uh, super tankers that are carrying refined gasoline to Venezuela. This solves, of course, problems for both sides. The Iranians hit by the uh, economy grinding to a halt because of the pandemic and by the sanctions have had you know, significant difficulties selling their oil and therefore the ability to deliver refined products to an ally uh, somehow at least temporarily eases up the pressure. Of course, that gasoline will also be paid in hard cash 
and that provides more revenue to the hard press coffers of the Iranian treasury. Um, and it continues to establish the principle that Venezuela becomes increasingly independent, uh, sorry, dependent on Iran uh, for the Maduro regime to stay in power. And so this earlier this week, these vessels have started arriving uh, into the Venezuelan uh, exclusive economic zone and docking at Venezuelan ports to deliver the gasoline. Experts say that actually the quantity they're bringing in is not going to solve even uh, temporarily the crisis as a stopgap measure. They're very likely designed more to resupply um, regime uh, operations, the army, and so on, but the population will continue to suffer. But they will achieve one thing for Iran, which is to continue uh, the flow of hard currency from Venezuela back to Iran, thereby empowering the Iranian regime further, making itself uh, indispensable for the survival of Maduro's Bolivarian revolution, and making Venezuela in the process a much poorer uh, and crime and terror-ridden country in Latin America.